Hi guys, happy Friday. I hope everybody's doing well today. It's very, very rainy here in Chicago right now. Um, but I wanted to come on a little bit and chat because I, I have to tell you, this week I had, um, I had some knee pain, which is new for me. <laughs> I developed some, uh, a, a very strange pain. It, it developed with like this burning pain in my knee and, um, I, I've had pain before, like aches and pains and sprained my ankle and I've, you know, twisted my knee and had all this stuff, but this was so unusual for me. I was like, this was new. This is totally new. And so lucky for me, I work in allergy, but I, I work right next to, um, ortho. So <laughs> I went over there and I'm like, what is happening to my knee? And, um, anyway, he's like, oh, that's, that's, you know, I said, it, I said, it feels like it's on fire. I'm like, it feels like there's a flame. Somebody's lighting a flame inside my knee and it's not comfortable at rest. I'm not comfortable when I'm walking. I'm not comfortable. I don't know what's going on. So anyway, he's like, oh, that's just some arthritic knee pain. And I was like, this is what people with arthritis feel like <laughs> because so many people have arthritis and, and so many of my patients. And so I'm like, okay, that's not cool. I, what, what do I need to do? You know? And I was taking, um, a leave and, and not that I'd love to take that cause I don't think it's all per great for gut health and all of that, but I needed it. And so I took it and that's fine if you have to take it, but I don't want to be on it for long term. Anyway, um, he's like, well, I'll just throw a steroid injection into your knees. So of course, one of the perks of, you know, I got in same day and I got an injection in my knee and it's feeling better. But I was, he, he suspected it was from working out. He's like, are you right? Cause he knows I ride the bike. I was riding the bike a lot and, but not actually any more than usual. And so, um, he goes, it's probably just overuse and you need to mix it up a little bit and size so, them. So, so I'm going to do that. And I've been off the bike now for a couple days, but, um, anyway, so that's what prompted me to come on today. I was like, I need to do a little more research into arthritis because, you know, I know a lot of people suffer from it. And so there's really two types of arthritis. Okay. So we've got osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. So rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune condition that is, um, and osteoarthritis is degenerative. So in rheumatoid arthritis, the lining of the, um, or the, you know, the body attacks itself. And so it's the lining surrounding the joints that uh, perceive a threat. And then this creates um, <clears throat> um, fluid buildup around the joint. And thus the, it, people get swelling and they get pain and they get stiffness in the joints. Um, with osteoarthritis, it's actually the most common form of arthritis. It's more a uh, degenerative joint disorder. So people with OA or osteoarthritis experience a breakdown of the cartilage in the joints. That the, and the cartilage is what kind of cushions the joints. And it causes um, the bones to kind of rub against each other. And then also you have, um, it, it exposes those nerves, which is why um, it, it causes pain. So I guess that's what I was feeling yesterday. Um, and it's, like I said, it's a lot better today, which is nice. Um, but I certainly don't want another another steroid injection. No, you know, that's not good. And so I uh, wanted to look at some things that we could maybe do to improve arthritis, right? Both types, really. Um, cause both RA and OA are, ha ha have inflammation. They're all, you know, that's, it's inflammation occurs. So there's a few things, about four things I want to go through. So first of all, um, plant-based diet, of course you knew that was coming, right? So <laughs> plant-based diets reduce inflammation and several studies out there have shown, um, looked at plant-based diets versus a standard American diet or high fat, high animal product. Um, and it shows that those eating a whole food plant-based diet have decreases in joint um, pain, um, improved uh, decreases in morning stiffness, improved uh, grip strength, and decreased joint swelling. So that's good. And um, studies have found that diets that are high in meat, uh, especially processed meats and processed foods, and high in fat have higher CRP levels, which is the C-reactive protein that is often checked in, um, we check it in the office sometimes, and I know primary care checks it a lot, and cardiology checks it a lot because it can cause inflammation in the heart, and it's essentially an inflammatory marker. And so those that eat 
meat and processed meats and high fat foods have higher CRP levels, which promotes inflammation, which of course can land in the joints too, right? So <clears throat> uh, plant-based diets are, are historically um, associated with lower CRP levels. So, and then I also looked at a study that looked at broccoli consumption interestingly enough, um, and knee pain, where they went into the joint and, um, well, they had two groups. Some people were eating the broccoli, some were not, of course, um, and eating a standard diet. And they aspirated the fluid from the joint, the synovial fluid from the joint, looking for the compound, so I always get this wrong, sulforaphane, sulforaphane. I don't know why I struggle with that word. I mean, I do, it's not easy, right? So <clears throat> anyway, Sulforaphane is a really, really good enzyme to have, okay? It helps to, um, blocks the enzymes that cause joint destruction and stops a key molecule known to promote inflammation. And sulforaphane also is a potent, potent cancer fighter. That's why we're like, eat your cruciferous vegetables when you're, you know, to prevent cancer and it can fight cancer and it's so good for you. But anyway, they went in, they aspirated the joint and they found high levels of sulforaphane and um, it actually remodeled the, the joint a little bit. So there you go. So that's the research, plant-based diets. Plant, okay, and the second thing is plant-based diets are also associated with the lower BMI, right? Lower body mass index. So less pe people that eat plant-based diets tend to be lower weight. And <clears throat> um, excess body weight, uh, of course, increases the risk of rheumatoid arthritis as well as osteoarthritis. And um, every, this is something to think about, so pay attention. This is really, I thought this is, this is crazy, right? Every pound of body weight places four to six pounds of pressure on each knee joint. So think about a 10 pound weight loss. So if you guys have 10 pounds to lose even, 10 pounds of weight loss would equate to 40 to 60 pounds of less pressure on your knee joints. So weight control is really, really beneficial if you you know, maintain a good weight when you are um, have arthritis. Um, and plant-based diets promote a healthy gut. Healthy gut bacteria is so critical to inflammation. I'm sure you've heard about chronic inflammation. It's a lot of it's centered around the gut. And studies suggest that the microbiome actually plays a key role in rheumatoid arthritis and inflammation. RA attacks the lining, again, of the joints, right? And, um, and there is a, a compound, unhealthy pathogen, that is sometimes found in there. And people with that compound in their gut tend to have more RA. They found that people with RA have less uh, diversity of their gut. So incorporating more high fat, or excuse me, more more plants and more high fiber foods into your diet is critical. And um, will also improve the gut flora, your gut bacteria, and um, promote less inflammation. And then other foods that might help um, improve or worsen uh, RA, I, I had to write these down, there's a bunch. So of course, food, red meat, eggs, sugar, high salt, um, caffeine, dairy, some say nightshade uh, vegetables even, like tomatoes and um, eggplant make their, this is a survey of people with arthritis, by the way, I'm going through, but some people said tomatoes and bell peppers and eggplant tended to make their arthritis worse. Um, especially the raw forms of, of those. Um, of course, also, not of course, but alcohol, artificial sweeteners, um, MSG, bad compound out there that also causes headaches for me, um, and caffeine can make symptoms worse. Um, so, and then I found some information that said wheat and oats can also make it worse for some people. So, um, which I eat a ton of, I'm not anti-weed at all, by the way, whole grains, I should say, whole grains, um, oats, eat them every day. I eat oats every day. And so, um, but some say that can make it worse. So I, given the fact that I do eat a lot of oats, maybe I'll decrease that a little bit and see, um, if that's making my symptoms worse, I might cut back. I don't know, but, um, I might need to try that for sure. And, um, switching out my workouts is the other thing I'm going to do. So hopefully this doesn't come back. Um, foods that can help. We talked about it, right? Nightshade, or not the nightshades, the cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli in particular was the one that was studied. Um, 
and flax and sesame seed. Um, that's Those are really good, especially the flax with the omegas. Um, I take an omega supplement too, which I might actually double up on a little bit. Turmeric, just a quarter teaspoon a day is all you need. Um, and so you can throw it in on your with your other spices. Uh, be careful with turmeric supplements because turmeric is historically a high oxalate food, which is fine. You have some oxalates, but if you have too much, it can promote um, uh, kidney stones. And so you want to be careful with high uh, with with eating too much or some of the like I said, some of the. Um, supplements because they could put mega doses in there I don't know and you never know when when you're buying supplements off the shelf so use the spice that's in your kitchen the turmeric and just throw a quarter teaspoon on your other things you're spicing once a day and that that should be enough and so that's the information on arthritis today um, I wanted to also just mention my daughter Megan's doing a live video tomorrow through the PBNM organization plant-based nutrition movement organization. Um, I did put an invitation, I think, in, in on this page to that. Two o'clock, she's making banana bread. Coffee flavored banana, or just with a hint of coffee. It's so good. Um, you'll love it. And then I also wanted to mention here, I do have a, a, a course coming out. You guys know I'm a one-on-one -on -one health coach, but I'm also putting out a course here at the end of July, early August is our target date right now. And so I will be... Um, You'll hear more about that, but it's a it's a digital course that you can purchase and you can buy, but I'll be doing some webinars talking about it before we launch it. So just wanted to share that. And as always, reach out if you have any questions and thank you so much for being here and on this page and um, have a great weekend.